Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> In previous lecture, I have already discussed about the uh, bus typology. So, in today's lecture, I would discuss about the advantages of bus topology and disadvantages of the bus topology. So, let's look into the advantages of the bus topology. First one, it is very simple, reliable, and small network. This topology is very simple. It is very simple as compared to the star topology and ring topology. And it is also very reliable. Kabilit imad hai. Yani ye bohut simple hai. Aur kabilit imad hai. Banispat ta star topology aur ring topology. Iski designing bhi simple hai. Aur iski understanding bhi simple hai. Too easy to use and understand. It is very easy to use it and very easy to understand it. Because there is just a main cable which is called bus cable and different system are attached to it. So it's very simple. The phenomena is very simple. The attachment is very simple. There is no difficulties. And third uh, application uh, or advantage is less expensive in terms of cables and nodes. So it is very, this network is, is very low cost network because we need a few uh, cables and a few systems, a small number of systems which is less expensive as compared to the other network. So cable ki surat mein or computer ki surat mein bhi ye low cost network ke banispat ho. Ye dusre jo star network hota hai or ye ring network hota hai. Or mesh topology hoti hai. Is mein bohut zyada cables bhi attach hote hai. Is mein expensive dedicated hardware bhi is, is mein zarurat hoti hai. Uh, is mein is tarah nahi. It is very easy to extend the bus by using a, a BNC connector or using a repeater. So this network is very simple to extend. It is very scalable, so it can be very increased or it may be decreased. So how we can increase it? Uh, so we can increase the main cable by using BNC connector. BNC connector is used, for example, this is a main cable and uh, these two system are attached to this main cable. So, Let's we want to extend this network. So we will use BNC connector here and attach in other net uh, cable segment. And we'll attach here three more system or four system here. So it is very scalable. All we can also improve, increase uh, by using a repeater. A repeater can be used here. Here a repeater can be used to amplify the same repeater or it may be used in this direction as well to amplify the signal. Repeater is a device which can be used to amplify the signal to reach the signal beyond the range of the given network. So it is very easy to extend the network. This is the third, fourth advantage. Fifth, it, it, it's work very efficiently when there is small network. When there is a small network, when the number of nodes are small, then it is, its speed is very high. It's, it works efficiently without any uh, difficulty. Uh, and six, very easy to connect or remove devices. I'll, I have already discussed about it, that it is very easy to connect or remove device to it or remove device. For example, this network, uh, this is the network and we want to add this network consists of three nodes and if you want to increase the number of nodes we can easily attach to this main cable. Similarly we can easily remove this system so it is very easy. So the disadvantages of the bus topology first disadvantage the heavy network traffic can slow down the whole uh, the, the bus network considerably. If, the, if each computer wants to transmit the data, then collision will take place and there will be, uh, the network will be slowed down considerably. So this is the drawbacks of the, the base bus topology. For example, uh, this is the main cable and this is PC1, this is PC2 and this is PC3 and let this is PC4, one, 
two, three, four, and this is the bus cable. So, let this device, this device, this one, and this one. These uh, transmit their message, their data simultaneously at the same time without looking into the media. So, collision will take place and uh, the network will become jammed, the network will become very slow down. So, this is the big issue in this network. To each BNC connector will weak the electrical signal and the signal will not reach the destination. I have already discussed that if we use a BNC connector between the two cable network segment, this is let's suppose BNC to connect these two network. So, this will uh, weak the electrical signal. Let's suppose this PC1 uh, start to transmit data into this PC10. So, if this move into it went into this BNC connector, it will become the signal will be uh, signal will power will be reduced and <laughs> there may be chances that this pocket packet or data may not reach to this uh, destination uh, PC10. So, this is another issue in this network. Third, it is difficult to troubleshoot and a bus network. What is troubleshoot? Ye bohut mushkil hai ki ek bus network ko troubleshoot kiya jai. To troubleshoot means to detect and correct a problem. Ek problems ko detect karna aur phir isko solve karna. Ise computer technology mein, computer terminology mein troubleshooting. Troubleshoot means to detect and correct. To detect and correct a problem. You take and correct. So, it is very difficult in this network. There is no mechanism. <coughs> not great for large network. This uh, topology is not very useful for in case of large network. If we have large network, then this topology may not be used. It is not suitable. It is not best topology uh, in that sense. And six one identification of problem difficult if whole network goes down. If whole network goes down, agar sara network fail ho jata hai, to per problem ki identification bohut mushkil hoti hai. Yani ye uh, determine karna ki kaun si nodes ki wajah se ye problem hui hai, to ye determine karna ka bhi mushkil hota hai. Yani agar main bus toot jaye, theek hai? Agar for example this network mein ye main bus jo hai, ये बस अगर ये टूट जाए तो फिर ये डिटरमाइन करना कि किस नोट्स की वजह से ये मसला हुआ है ये डिटरमाइन करना काफी मुश्किल है नीड्स ऑफ टर्मिनेटर्स एट बोथ एंड्स ऑफ नेटवर्क इसके लिए एक दूसरी आ, इस नेटवर्क में टर्मिनेटर्स दोनों साइड पर एट इधर साइड दिस साइड और दिस साइड टर्मिनेटर की जरूरत होती है क्योंकि इसकी मेन ड्रॉबैक्स ये है कि हर सिस्टम विदाउट लुकिंग इन टू द मीडिया इस मीडिया को नहीं देखता और हर सिस्टम से मेंटेन इसलिए ये भी डेटा बेचता है ये भी बेचता है ये भी बेचता है तो रास्ते में कोलेजन होती है रास्ते में क्या होती है कोलेजन एक दूसरे के साथ कोलेजन होती है तो इस मसले को हल करने के लिए या कोई डेटा ट्रांसमिट करता है और ये इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल एब्जॉर्व नहीं होती तो इस मसले को हल करने के लिए बोथ साइड पर हम टर्मिनेटर अटैच करते हैं ताकि इस इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल को एब्जॉर्व कर सके और कोलेजन को की प्रॉब्लम्स को अवॉइड कर सके खत्म कर सके एंड सेवन पैकेट्स लॉस प्रॉब्लम देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ पैकेट लॉस प्रॉब्लम पैकेट्स विल बी लूज इन द मोमेंट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर इस नेटवर्क में जब पैकेट्स मीन्स डेटा जब डेटा एक सिस्टम जनरेट करता है और एक दूसरे एंड को बेचता है तो पैकेट्स यानी इस डेटा की लॉसेस के चांसेस बहुत ज़्यादा है बनस्पत दूसरे नेटवर्क की क्योंकि इसमें मीडिया सिस्मा सीढ़ी नहीं है फिर सेंस मल्टीपल कोलेजन डिटेक्शन नहीं है 
ऐसा मेकेनिज़म नहीं है कि वो हो मीडिया को सेंस कर सके कि ये फ्री है या नहीं है अगर इस तरह मेकेनिज़म होता तो फिर ये कुलेजन नहीं होती फैकेट्स के दरमियान कुलेजन नहीं होती तो फिर फैकेट्स के लॉसेस के चांसेस इतने नहीं होते एंड द लास्ट वन वेरी स्लो इज कम्पेयर टू द अदर नेट इट इज़ वेरी स्लो स्पेशली इन केस ऑफ वेन वी वेन वेन वी इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स और नोट्स टू to to be to attach with the main cable so there will be the the network traffic will be jammed and this we all risk it. the network trip, there is a heavy network traffic so in case of if you increase the number of not so if you increase the number of uh, here we increase the number of computer so uh, it may be the the whole network become Uh, slow down so this is the other robex of the this network so this was the comparison between the advantages and disadvantages of the bus network and i hope you like this uh, video this lecture and if you like it please like my channel subscribe it and share it if possible thanks for watching allah hafiz